For a long time, the big thing in South Williamsburg, restaurant-wise, was the famous temple to steak, Peter Luger. But in the last few years, as Williamsburg became hipper and more of the people who had settled in the north started moving down, the neighborhood's food scene started changing as well. One of the first big restaurants to hit the area was Dressler, which has had a Michelin star since 2007 and which opened just down the block from Peter Luger. There's been, for the past couple of years, quality restaurants in this area. It's, I don't know where it exactly started from, but Dressler, Diner, Marlowe & Sons, now everything opening up, it's become a place that is proven to be successful for people who want to take, you know, take a chance and make interesting and inviting restaurants. But Dressler is hardly alone. Just within the last few months, the neighborhood upped its ante dramatically with three new restaurants opening, all of which have been attracting attention and all within a few blocks of each other. So if you needed a better example of how South Williamsburg has changed a little bit from Hasidic to Hipster, I don't think that the restaurant trade could illustrate the point better. Uh, it's a new restaurant's been open for about a month, so let's take a look inside. Treif, for those of you who have never heard of it before, is the Hebrew word for forbidden food. And that means an abundance of pork and shellfish on this particular menu. Yeah, I tell people, I'm like, you know, hey, Heather and I are like, good people. We're not killing anyone here, we're just serving bacon, you know. It's just like a lot of other restaurants are doing around here, but I'm, I'm sort of being honest about it, I guess. I felt like it embodied kind of what we were trying to do, which was, you know, create a restaurant. I wouldn't say with no rules, but, you know, in a certain sense, we have chicken wings on the menu, but we also have foie gras. You know, and our waiters wear t-shirts, but we have a really nice wine list and we want them to be professional. So it's sort of this mix of, you know, a lot of different ideas, casual, elegant, um, refined ingredients. One of the most anticipated was Pies and Thighs. The restaurant, which had originally been a few blocks away and shuttered for two years, was moved to its most recent address on South 4th Street in March. It was definitely worth the wait. In addition to the fried chicken, the collard greens, the biscuits with an artery hardening scoop of honey butter on top, Pies and Thighs is some of the best desserts around. The other thing that the local foodies were waiting for breathlessly was Zach Palaccio of Fatty Crab and Robbie Richter of Hill Country's new hybrid barbecue Malaysian restaurant, Fatty Q, which had been in the works for three years. Well, um, I mean, I think it's a, it's, it's a great neighborhood. It's a really up-and-coming place. Um, it's a, there's a lot of uh, great restaurants here already, um, and we thought it was, you know, kind of a, a ripe spot for one of our concepts. It's a, it's a younger neighborhood. It's, a, it's very much a foodie neighborhood. Sometimes people are like, you know, not in my backyard. I've heard of restaurants before they've opened, you know, they said they were going to be a barbecue restaurant. Before they even opened the doors, you know, people were complaining, you know, oh, we're going to have a barbecue restaurant, the smells, the odors. Everyone's loving it. You know, they come over the Williamsburg Bridge and, they, you know, they know they're here. And you've got to smell the restaurant from at least a block away. <laughs> if you don't, go somewhere else. And they use it to good effect. Every Sunday afternoon, they cook a whole animal in the smoker and serve it that night. How do you fit a 90-pound side of pig into a container? Just like that. Just like that. <laughs> Almost all of the meat that they cook at Fatty Q goes into the smoker from the duck to the lamb and of course the pork. So sinful, so delicious, so much more to try. There you have it, South Williamsburg. For NYPost.com, I'm Max Gross.